outside with a thing. We outside with a clip. Fuck bang. We outside with a gang. We outside with a clip. Fuck bang. Back outside. Who am I side with, man? Arian Freeman, the comedian. Arian, what's going on, my brother? How you doing? Good, good. How you doing, man? All right, man. Great to have you on the platform. You know, first question I like to pop this thing off with, man, is how is your mental health, my brother? It's great. It's great. great. When you say great, like, give me something, man. Like, everybody ain't great. So why are your mental health so great, man? Because, uh, see, once upon a time, I used to be all over the place. Right. But then I found God. Mm. Got my faith. And I'm just straight every day. Was you did you was you ever in a slump, man? Cause everybody, you know, we come from something. You know what I'm saying? Our mental ain't always perfect. Like talk to me. Uh I say probably like twenty seventeen to probably like twenty nineteen. Mm. My mental health was going crazy. Right. And then Jay made a baby. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of emotions going on, baby mama drama. But, you know, I'm going to get over everything. You made it through. Yep. <laughs> hey, that all that matters, man. Nothing else matters but making it through. But, now nah, that, that awesome, though, bro. Um, glad to have you on here, man. Uh, let's let's get into it, though. Um, my, my next question is, are you happy? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Happy. Yeah. What is happy for you though? Um, I don't know. I think I just like waking up every day. Uh, starting a new day, new month, new year. All that excite me. I'm just always in a good mood, regardless. Uh, it's kind of hard for me not to be happy or something. I mean, you do comedy, man. You you make people laugh for for a living. You know what I'm saying? You know the the, the background of some comics is they live a dark life. So they, they make people laugh to, you know what I'm saying? It kind of like, it don't really coincide with their own feelings because they making people laugh, but they ain't even in the laughing mood. Have, you know what I'm saying? So That's true. It's, it's good that you, your mindset right, man. You know what I'm saying? So talk to us, man. Uh, tell us about where you from, brother. Macon, Georgia. 1952 Mellor Avenue is where mm. I grew up. Uh, right in Bird City. Then I moved to one of Robins for like a year, I think. Right. Um, probably third grade or something. Then I came back to Macon. Then I went to Green County. That's where I was born. Ooh. Green County, Greensboro, Georgia. But then I stayed out for like some months. Then I came back to making again. And yeah. You were moving all around that motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so break it down like this, man. For the people that ain't from where you from, you know, you say you from Macon, paint them a picture of like what Macon is like growing up, man. Your environment. Um It's a good question. Um it's I think it's slower, um, country, hospitality, okay. um, a lot of crime and stuff, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. but you just got to stay out of the way. Uh, okay. As long as you stay out of the way, you'll be okay. Mm. Stay out of the way, you know you'll be okay. Okay, okay. That's some great advice, man. You know, we don't want to stir the people in the wrong direction. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? All right, so put it like this, man. Uh, growing up, man, like. What was your goals and aspirations before we got into comedy, man? Like, what yeah. what, what, did you, what did you want to be when you grow up before you got into this? An actor. An actor? Yeah, still the always, same. Still always, the same. Since I was a kid. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, that easy for you, man, because you, you, that's what you do. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's second nature, man. Um, Let's let's bring it back to high school, brother. Like, how was your high school upbringing and things of that nature like? Was um, you the funniest guy in class in school? Like, or you were just like in the cut? Like, how, how was how was you? I was cool. School? I was still popular because I was still making videos, so mm-hmm. I was still known. But right. I was always chill in class. I wasn't never no class you clown. Never up, like, nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> what is that though? You know, what I'm saying I be mean. I be mean people that do skits on the internet and stuff like that. When I meet them, they not like the skits. They just like chill. They be laid back. It just be entertainment. Yeah, like, like, like you. Mm-hmm. Like, we just know how to think of something and make it funny on the screen, but... Yeah. That just be it. When you think of an idea, you just make it happen. But in real life, you just... You just be you would think a nigga pull up and he be just all animated, just turned up. Full just of like energy. saying some funny shit. Just yeah. back to back. So, I, I, I always thought that was crazy because I meet, I, meet I meet a lot of people that do the skits. And every time I meet them, all y'all act the same. 
<laughs> y'all just be, just, yeah, what's up? Bro? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. You, you good? No, no jokes, no nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm cracking on the nigga as soon as I see him, but you look like, <laughs> I gotta, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's crazy that, you know what I'm saying, how y'all energy is. What is that? Is y'all, y'all just like focused? Like, what, what is that, bro? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, it ain't really focused. It just be. Most of people, like you said, most people mm-hmm. I met too, they be chill and relaxed in person. Come on, but it's man. just like you just get an idea, you just make it happen for the screen. But after that, you just mm. it's just a switch. It's just a switch. Yeah. Hey, I, I I know about the switch, brother. I got the same <laughs> switch. Okay. Yeah. All right. So speak on your name, you know, because people, you know, most people that get into the entertainment business, they change their name. You know what I'm saying? Why did you stick with your government name? If that's your government name. It is. It is. And um, how do you pronounce your name, by the way? Serion. Serion. Okay, Come I was on. looking at all of that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I I first first I was going by um, Mamas TV. Mm-hmm. Then I went by Backseat Mamas. That meaning was because I I knew I was gonna be, well I know I'm going to be a star or whatever, and I don't want to drive, so I want to be in the back seat. Come on. Around. And <laughs> then, mm, some just said change the area because I want to be known by my name. Right. So I just changed the area, and then when stuff started taking off too, so. Mm. Made sense, bro. Yeah. Made sense because I'm looking at it now. I'm thinking it, Irian. Is it Irian? <laughs> what is How you say it? You know, so I heard somebody say, like, oh, is that? All right, cool. I, I get it. I get it. Right. <clears throat> Have you, you know, everybody get into the music, brother. You ain't never thought about making no music. Yeah, I actually do. <laughs> um, I actually do plan on dropping an album this year. Probably. Nah. Yep, drop an album this year. And I got some songs in the past that I released mm-hmm. with, um, I think it's TuneCore. Right. If you don't pay them, they take it down. And I ain't paid them, so they took all the down. <laughs> ain't nothing. So I can't go find any of them music. You probably good. If you Google, you'll have to Google Mamma or Backseat Mamma, probably. Backseat Mamma. I don't think nothing up on the area up right now. I, I, like, I like Backseat Mamma, bro. You know, one of you rappers might take that name, brother. They, yeah, might, run, they yeah. might run off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you get into your uh, skit talent bag? You know what I'm saying? Like, what got you in that bag? Like, what did you see to be like, man, I'm do that? You know um, that? I remember going to my grandma's house in Greensboro, Georgia, mm-hmm. and my cousin showed me Delano Edwards. That when he was big on YouTube. Ah, man, I'm knowing. And yeah. then, as soon as I seen that, I was like, I'm finna figure out how he do that. Mm-hmm. And I started doing it there in the middle school. Dang. Yeah. So what year was that, like, you started doing it? I do not know. That had to be... I think I started high school 2012. Mm-hmm. So middle school had to be like 2010 mm. or 2009 or something. Mm-hmm. Well, you was at it. That like Vine days. Yeah. You was on Vine with that I shit. I tried Vine yeah, too. <laughs> All right. So doing that, man, like what was that first skit that you did? Do you remember what it was? Mm-mm. Don't even remember. Mm-mm. <laughs> well, all right. So put it like this. What was your, what was your skit that went like, it may not. Let, let's not jump into like oh he did a thousand this and that. When you when you got that first kit that got twenty likes, you was like oh shit, twenty uh, people like this shit. Like what you know what was that? What was that? Do you remember that? Um, it would have had to be a. It probably was a. Was it a YouTube? Probably was a Facebook skit I did. I don't mm-hmm. know. I know I used to play like different characters. Right. Um. I don't know. I don't know which one. Cause I used to always still get attention. Cause I used to tag everybody. Yeah. So. Got to tag here, but I'm telling you. Yeah, y'all. I don't think I ever, well, like, felt like, oh, this, this it. Like, mm-hmm. until one actually went viral. And that was on YouTube with a um, Drunk in the Tub video of Beyonce parody. Come on. To Drunk in the, um, Drunk, Drunk in Love. Love. Yeah. All right. Come on now. <clears throat> Come on. Now, that now that's deep now. Like, what's viral for you? Like, what, what type of numbers we talking about to mm. be, so for you to say, like, oh, shit, my shit just went viral. Back then, it was just, like, 20,000 or something mm-hmm. I was like oh yeah Okay back then You know it was kind of hard, hard to do that It to get that yeah. <laughs> It hard to get that Nah yeah. that, nah, that's deep though That's deep You know what I'm saying Like yeah man that, the, the, the comedy skit bag man It ain't easy to do Because You have to really come up with At least two or three skits a day You know what I'm saying And you've been doing this Since two, let's say 2010 Like what, what keep your mindset To be coming up with All these different scenarios And have you repeated something Um I don't think I repeated nothing, but mm-hmm. I just see stuff every day. Or every day I'm adding something to my uh. Your bag. Yeah. Like, well, I might just be laying down at night and think of something. Or if I'm finna fall asleep, I might wake up out of my sleep and just uh. Sometimes I dream ideas and get those, and I wake up and I just 
Write them all down. Write them out. Whoa. Yeah. It was your, hey, look, he giving y'all the sauce, man. Y'all pay attention. You know what I'm saying? If y'all trying to get into the company skit bag. But I, I so put it like this. So <clears throat> say if I want to get into some skits, how do I even know I'm funny, man? You know you what I'm saying? You gotta put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> because, because like I think I'm a funny guy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe everybody else don't think I'm funny. So like, did, did you feel like you had to build up on your funniness or people just automatically knew your ass was just funny? Um <clears throat> That's a good question. Um Cause people would just be doing something, they should be corny, like, why he keep making these skits? He ain't even funny. That's true. Um <laughs> I think I did have to build it up a little. Like I knew I was funny, but mm-hmm. I remember when I first started, I used to see other people um videos, and I'd try to copy that because I ain't have. I was just trying to do something. Right. So then somebody coming up on my YouTube video, and they were like, "Why you keep copying people? Make your own <laughs> shit." I <I'm> like that. <laughs> After that, I ain't never copying nobody else. And I think over time you get funnier and funnier because the more you grow, mm-hmm. stuff become funnier. Like yeah, come on. Shit be funny as every day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I find something funny every day, man. I, I, I be having skits in my brain too. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. I right, so in the beginning when you started doing this, did you feel like the people supported you, like in what you was doing? Oh no, your city. Mm-mm. Mm. Like when I was tagging everybody on Facebook and stuff, they'd be like, "Stop tagging me!" And, and like, ah. <laughs> but they got to keep going. I kept doing it. Yeah. Um, I they didn't. They didn't come yeah. until a, a lot of other people came from outside of the city. Like, right. And they started supporting me for a minute in high school because I was popular in high school. But then, like, going through a whole bunch, baby mama, blah, 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 right. I seen everybody actually leave. And, like, now they be coming back. Right. So they. Full circle. Yeah. Now, put it like this now. So <clears throat> you saying the people that support you in your city, everybody can resonate with that. But what is that first city that you can say, oh, this city fucked with me first before my city even thought about it? You know what I'm saying? Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. Okay, okay. For sure, for sure. That's big, though, because to even get the recognition in Atlanta, everybody do something in Atlanta. Everybody. everybody is somebody in Atlanta. Everybody. So for you to say, man, Atlanta fuck with me, oh, no, nah, that, shit, that shit different. <laughs> yeah. That shit different. Yeah. Because Atlanta don't fuck with nobody because everybody <laughs> think they somebody. That's true. That's <laughs> like, true. Like, hey, bro, you know, I know P. Diddy and them. Like, yep. that's a bad time to be saying, you know, P. Diddy, my boy. Terrible time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they'll tell you. All right, so <clears throat> what do you think you need to do to get you to the next level? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Doing what I'm doing now, or what I'm focusing on this year, uh, just put myself in more movies, commercials, TV shows, booking everything, and making sure I stay booked with that. Cause social media kind of, like you said, like when you do it for a long time, it kind of get boring to me. Come like, on, man. so I want to be in movies and stuff. And then you know, you in a movie, like your name, you are you in front of everybody. Yeah. Social media, you got to keep on doing it. Keep like, on doing it. Get tired of that. No matter how many skits you do, it ain't as classic as a movie. It ain't you know classic like a movie. Cause they can go watch that whole. Cause like you gotta say, say you doing scene, you doing one scene a day, but a movie got a million scenes in it. Exactly. And you'll watch that in continuation. You know what I'm saying to the end of time. Exactly. You know, so it ain't it depend on if you do a seasonal movie, you do a Christmas movie, you gonna be you gonna be the one they watch for a lifetime. Yep. Cause hey, Christmas, let's turn on that movie that airing it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like that just so that that's good thinking. Yep. You know what I'm saying it always good to pivot. Like, like I'm doing We Outside, like I was making music. I like, man, so I got to get Let me pivot. And then I pivot into this. And then, like, I like I like doing it. And, it, and it's bringing more attention to other people. So yeah. That, I it, like, shoot, this is working. Yeah, this was different. When I saw this, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I got I got to come on that. Like, this is different. I love it, man. We Outside, literally. Come yeah, it's on. dope. <laughs> All right, so what you doing that, man? You, you think about getting into the movies. I know you're shooting one right now. Have you shot any in the past? Um, senior year on Netflix, I was featured in it. It's a scene of me in the hallway somewhere talking to Sam Richardson. I don't know his character name <laughs> in the movie. I forgot. Fact. But that, and I did, um, I was a background at Angel Jumanji, the first one. Okay. But Kevin Hart, motherfucker? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do it. But then on that one, I started watching that movie. I'm like, where am I? They did not put me in there. <laughs> I was in that scene forever. I kept rewinding it. I'm like, yeah, I ain't in there. But look, I right, but let's 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 take a let's take a moment to talk about that. So, how how did you even get in that same room to get put even get shot in the movie or you know in the deleted scene? How you even get that moment? Um, that's a good question. I don't. 
I don't know who I went through. I don't know if it was Central Cast. I know I was in college, and I like I'm up here in Atlanta for a reason. I need to be acting. So Thanks. I just went online looking for casting companies. It probably was Central Casting, mm -hmm. and I went and registered with them in person, and they not time to with them, and they sent me a casting call. Um, would you like to be in this film? Right. And I like yeah. So I went there. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. Was shooting for like eighteen hours. It was cold. You shot for eighteen hours. Yeah, they that they happened. ain't even put your ass in the movie. Mm -mm. Ain't that a motherfucker? Yeah, out there freezing. <laughs> but say like you was on camera for eighteen hours. Nah, you be um. You just there. You be on the set. All right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Cameras rolling. How long was the cameras rolling? And you was in behind the. I mean, in probably, front of the camera. Probably like four, four like or five. five. Man, I should have put my boy in the movie, man. Cause they gonna keep on shooting. <laughs> and keep redoing the takes over and over and over and over. So you be there for a good like four hours. I mean, I, I feel I, I'm shooting a movie right now, brother. You know what I'm saying? I ain't we, we shoot a we shoot a scene probably one or two times. You know what I'm saying? If that, you know, we, we got a dog coming in. The play. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? <laughs> we outside, y'all. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I, I just shot a movie. I'm shooting a movie right now, and we when we shoot the scenes, the actors know their part so good. We probably shoot it. Three times at the mm -hmm. max just to get different angles from the camera. But, like, what was it that made them keep redoing it? Like, was they messing up? Or? No, they just wanted more takes and more takes. Like, that's what I learned, too. Like, some productions, mm -hmm. they just Quit. get it over. Like, all right, we got it. Right. But some of them, they want, like, 30 takes. Like, <laughs> doing the same thing. I be looking at this shit like, but I got to go edit it. Like, I ain't finna do 30 takes. Like, I know from my camera, okay, I got a good shot here. Good shot that I can peep, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to be doing all that extra stuff. Exactly. <clears throat> so, um, with you having such a, a, a big following, do you got a team behind you, or we just moving solo dolo out here? No, I have a great team behind me. Um, mm -hmm. When it comes to, I have a team of women, mm -hmm. like homegirls, and they always keep me up or whatever. Like, if anything go wrong, whatever. Like, um, then I got my mama, my dad, they be having with the kid and stuff. Right. Like, I got a good team behind me and my homeboy. Like, that's, that's a great team. Yeah. What about management? Is would you consider that even being like a management situation, or you just solo dolo? Solo. Because why? Why you think is beneficial for you not to have a manager? Why you um, think so? I don't know. I really don't think it is. <laughs> I actually want a manager, but <laughs> like not yet. But eventually I do because mm -hmm. it do get overwhelming. Like you got to be the one checking all your emails every day, right. seeing what you got to do. Like. Like I got to film tomorrow, then I got to do it. Like I'm here now, right. then like it get all, it get crazy. It but. get crazy. Trust me, brother. I, we, yeah, scheduling is yeah. crazy. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, all right. So with that, like you saying, you think about it in the future. For somebody that's doing what you're doing, when do you think is a great time for them to get a manager? You know what I'm saying? Or they should wait. You know what I mean? If they coming up doing what you're doing. Um. I think it depends on what you're doing. Like, if you're just trying to do skits, mm -hmm. you might not need a manager. Like, you, you can be okay. Um, unless you get, like, a million followers or something. And, like, yeah, because now it's going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, with the sponsorships and all that stuff. But acting, if you want to be an actor, I think you should get an agency as soon as you can. Right. Because they're going to help you get the bigger budget movies and stuff like that. Okay. So... What, you think if you had a manager, you think you'd be in a different situation right now? Mm, probably so. Okay. See, that's respectable. Some people need to know that because people think they should go ahead and get a manager. Some people probably got two followers and they say, man, get me a goddamn manager. That's true. I didn't see people like that. <laughs> like, I don't know plenty of people that got managers. I got to talk to their manager. Like, what, nigga? You ain't even got 10 followers. Like, why I got to yeah. talk to your manager? I, yeah, yeah. The important <laughs> thing, like, first you got to make yourself a brand. Yeah. That's the main thing. You know how they take 10 They probably take a 50 for them No nah, for real <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean is, is it a situation where like You want to make As much revenue as you As you want on your own Until it makes sense For I'm making so much Now I can pay you mm. <clears throat> No not really mm. It just mm, Like Like now Right now right. I'm looking for an agent For the movies for Cause the that's movie, what I'm right. focused on right now But like No nah, not for the money Well no, nah, yeah I ain't I never thought of that Okay I mean hey, hey, That's deep though That's deep Alright so put like this How do Aaron fund his Comedian career Ooh That's a good one Well yeah. you gonna have So many ups and downs And Come on, so many it. Um 
you gonna go through it. Like on first year, you ain't even making nothing back. Yeah. I just started seeing money from it last year. Mm-hmm. So before that, my mama, my right. dad, just support, home girls, just good support team, and me working myself, like trying to okay. hustle. You stay in Atlanta. It ain't cheap staying in Atlanta. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So this is the question that people need to know. Like, how's Aaron staying in Atlanta? God damn it. Is he making millions of dollars a year? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we, we pocket watching out here, right? Come on. <laughs> um, But nah, it, it, is it... So with the monetization, like, what people got to understand is on all platforms, getting monetized and doing it the right way is the best thing because... You want to read the benefits of you dropping all That's this true. content. You know what I'm saying? So, like like you say, you're probably saying that I'm just not seeing money from monetization on the platforms, right? Yep. Yep. So, that's how it works, guys. Y'all got to know that. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a slow and steady burn. Slow. You know what I'm saying? And you got to do it because you like doing it, not because the money in it. Because if you're doing it because of the money. You're going to stop. You're going to stop. Like, I, I'm the same thing. I probably, see, I probably see real money this year doing this versus me doing it last year. When I was just freelancing, yep. you know what I'm saying? Doing stuff, just, oh, let me just do it because yep. I need to, need to get my name out there. Now my name is doing something. I might do a little freelancing, but I need some revenue now. You know what I'm saying? So yep. we, you, you got to do certain things in the beginning to, so you can get to the next level. You know Very saying? true. Very true. Um, for somebody just starting out, man, we looking at, we looking at uh, almost 200,000 followers on Instagram, brother. How you even get to this point? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like That's what? Cool. Like what did you do for you can get two almost two hundred thousand followers? I do not know. I was on uh, <laughs> I was on TikTok and I was just making TikToks. And then somebody like you know you get paid ten k on Instagram, right? You can get paid. Mm-hmm. So I just, I went over there just trying to get ten k. Right. I just started putting skits up and I don't know what happened. It just started going crazy. Like I think a Geico video took off mm. and it went it hit a million and after that it just started going up. Going insane. That's how it be though. When you get one, y'all gotta get one. You get one is out of here, man. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Like before before the Geico video, how was your like um uh, engagement? Did you feel like people was like liking and supporting and viewing it how you wanted them to? Or it was like a slow burn? Mm-hmm. Um I was happy because I only had like four thousand followers. Mm-hmm. So I was happy to get like a thousand views. Right. So yeah, right. it was doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. Okay. So hey look, don't get discouraged, people. Put that work in, man. Keep keep dropping, keep dropping. You know what I'm saying? Now, now your skits, man, your skits are crazy, man. Like, the style that you do, I wouldn't even say I know anybody who do that style. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, like, it really be funny to be talking to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's other people that probably do a similar thing, but the way you do it, you just do it in your own way. You know what I'm saying? How how you able to do this? Like, do you set up the camera somewhere? You got somebody holding it most of the time. Like, how, how do you do your skits, man? Behind the scenes, give it to it. Most of the time, it's always me with a tripod, or I set it up in my car. Uh, most of the time, I'm always alone. I do everything by myself. I try to collab a couple times, but mm-hmm. it'd be cool. But I don't really like working with people like that. So yeah. most of the time, I'm always alone. I do everything by myself. Be talking to myself. Then I probably spend like I probably spend like like I think about why I want to shoot the video. So right. while I'm driving to that location i'll be thinking about the conversation i'm gonna have with myself on the camera and then i get there and just make it all add up and now now i see you do more like positive motivational talks now right yeah it ain't it ain't all comedy you yeah. know what i'm saying so what what made you take that period to say i'm finna do a little motivational talk too with the comedy not all com-, you know what i'm saying what made you want to do that um i realized the fans and like my nephew and like the people who look up to me and stuff i don't want y'all to just continue <laughs> laughing at me like i gotta i gotta drop some gems somewhere like because i don't i can't have them coming up crazy like yeah nah so that would make me do that okay yeah i, I respect i said you know cause I, i'm on the page on my timeline i'm like okay i'm i'm, I'm ready to laugh i'm like damn this nigga done motivated me because i gotta get my hands up today go do something in my life <laughs> i don't want to do nothing but just sit on the bed watch, watch a little tv all right but yeah 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 man that Real inspirational, man. And, and you and you do the you do the skits where like you know that you in the car you got you beat up your shirt ripped up got the <laughs> like oh, you yeah. be taking it there, man. You be taking it there, man. You be taking it there. Now let's talk about collabs. You know what I'm saying? Um, now the first time I seen you, it was years ago, and I did not know you were from making. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think I just found out you were from making last year. 
You get what I'm saying? I'm like, this thing from Macon? It's a lot of people telling me that. Like, <laughs> I you thought you were from like Atlanta that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not know you from Macon. Nope. You say you stayed there with Robin before. Like, that's my neck of the woods. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. So, that's crazy, bro. Now that you got all this success, how is it coming back to your city? Do you feel like the people support you now? Yeah. Like, by default, because like, nigga, I'm popping now. You got to. Yeah. Like, and you don't think it's real. Like, you like, yeah. Now, I think it's real for the, um, People that never, never saw knew. me, they never knew me. Yeah. So I, that's that's cool, that's great. But mm-hmm. like my peers, people who I was yeah. in school with and stuff, <laughs> oh no, nah, they just that for yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I feel that, bro. It be like that. I'm, I'm finna move to Atlanta too. God damn it, turn yeah. this shit up. Then yeah. come back and then go to the the class reunion <laughs> with a whole security team because it's gonna be like that. Yep. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. So get into your collabs, man. You do a lot of collabs with the females, brother. Yeah. What what made you want to do that? Um, if I do do any collab, most of the time I try to do it with a girl. Mm-hmm. But um, most of them, well, the ones that I did do collabs with, I've been knowing them since forever. So right, that's why I can do that with them. Or like, um, the one girl, Kira, who I do um, the Kira plus two. Yep. When I do skits with her, I've been we had met when we was we were neighbors. Right at one of my apartments, and we met, and then she was talking about how she um uh, wanted okay. to be social is, media. Is this so. making or this Atlanta? This making. This making. Okay, uh, she from making too. Um, I don't know. Oh, but I know she wanted to. Um, she was telling me how she wanted to be on social media and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, cool. So, made to skip with her and stuff like that. But it's rare I do skits with anybody. But yeah. if I do, it'll be with her probably. Not time to ten. Mm-hmm. All right. Then, then what really, what really made me see you is Jonah Bay. I seen you do a skit with Jonna Bay. How yep. did we get connected with Jonna Bay? Uh, I've been knowing her since high school. I think high school. Yeah, high school. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cause that 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 what I really start. Cause like <clears throat> at the time, only thing I would follow you on my We Outside page. I think I was uh I was seeing most of your stuff on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen, cause I follow her Instagram and yo, and I'm like, wait, that's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, like how how was it doing those skits with Jonna man? Like how um, how did that come together? I think she um she different. Mm-hmm. She 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 um she one of the easiest people I didn't ever work with like collabing and stuff. Right. Cause she just get it like right off bat like you ain't really got to do too many retakes and none of that. She that cool. she a natural talent. A natural talent. You talk about acting, she funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like she funny. Just j- talking to her on the phone. She might she might change her accent or voice up like she always doing some crazy stuff, man. Like I, I I like the energy. She was cool to work with too. I worked with her, did flow mics, and we shot uh, the interview and things of that nature. And a couple a couple promo videos. You know what I'm saying? She would promote that song when she was doing you. Uh, Yo, what's up? Know. Yeah. What's up? She would promote that song. Hot song, man. Shout out to John Bay. Yeah. Um now, I, I'm I'm a freaking watcher of Jeremy T Live. I'm pretty sure you was on there a couple of times. You, 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 you I never... seen I seen one of his lives, mm-hmm. and that was because somebody sent it to me. Because I think mm-hmm. Jonah was arguing with somebody, with my ex. Come on. And he said something about me. Yeah. But I don't think he knew he was talking about me because they were referring to me as my man. Right. A lot of people don't he know that's my man. Yeah. <laughs> so I let it slide. But yeah, that's the only time I ever seen uh, one of his lives. I don't really be watching his lives. Yeah, I, I, I'm a vivid watcher of the drama. I love the drama. You know what I'm saying? So I, I tune in to Jeremy T. Live just to get a little taste of negativity. But I I'm, love it. I'm glad you said that. So now I know whenever I want whenever I want to get me some popcorn and go see some drama, go to Hip Edge. Man, oh my goodness, man, you get you gotta watch our interview. He's it's on there too. Oh, I Jeremy see that. T. is a frequent. Uh, he he loved it. Oh, I think I did see. Um. <laughs> I saw like a, a little small clip of it. I clicked yeah. on it and I was finna start watching it. And he was talking about something. <laughs> got, who the mess is or something. Yeah, oh yeah. that's the that's the one. Yeah. You gotta go watch the full interview. It's it's hilarious all the way through, right? Um now on that live, they was going back and forth with Johnny and your ex. I don't know who your ex is. I don't wanna put her information out there if she not, you know, saying on the internet, stuff like that. But they were referring to Jonah said something in the comments like she was sitting on your face last night. <laughs> How do you feel about that, brother? Is this a true statement? Um, she called me <laughs> and she she we talked right after she got off that live and she was like, I told them I da 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 but I just had to say something cause like da da <laughs> So <I was> okay. <laughs> 
Hey, look, I love Jonah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jonah, like I said, Jonah is a natural talent. Yeah. Like, who who knows if she's telling the truth? What's she telling the truth? What's she sitting on your face the night before? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But I understood why she said that because uh, the my ex <clears throat> kept on thinking me and her, like, for yeah. years and stuff. And we don't. Like, we weren't doing it. So right. She was, like, finally, like, okay, yeah, we did. Now what? So. Yeah, it makes sense. Hey, it's just like when you when you arguing in class and uh, the nigga whooping your ass in a roast <laughs> battle, and you now you gotta say somebody's mama. You gotta say something personal now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta I gotta talk. <laughs> your, your sister in the wheelchair. I gotta go there now. You gotta hit below the bill. You, you feel me? Like so, I, I feel if it's one of them, man. Jonah is a sly dog. <laughs> yeah. Shout to Jonah. More more drama, man. Um. Band boy flip. Do you got beef with band I boy flip? I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> no, I do not know why that man be bringing my name up. I have never mentioned him. <laughs> I do not know. I do not know. But I, I think I think he just wanted attention, which is, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just an attention thing. It's just an attention thing. How do you feel about Band Boy Flip content? Now I gotta ask you. Um, I used to like him. Mm-hmm. I don't like him no more. Why you don't like him no more, man? Cause he always talking like, and it be just stuff like you gotta watch. You gotta watch people who, who say stuff like, who make a make a status, and they joking. Yeah. But then at the end of the status, they say if they took it serious, they were lame anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you trying to offend them or is you yeah, joking? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's different. They're like. You gotta just say whatever you gonna say. Just, just say, say it. it. Don't give no uh, inclination like, oh, it's funny or it's fake. Or it's, yeah. I just like I don't never do that. If I'm doing something, like I, I did, I did, I did a thing with Brother Haitian where they thought that he actually wasn't answering my questions. You know what I'm saying? But I set it up like that, so I ain't want them to think like, oh, it's a skit. Like I had to keep them wishing like, okay, yeah. DZ, why Brother Haitian not answering no damn questions? Like they, they exactly. Ain't know. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you gotta set it up and don't explain it. Yeah. I <laughs> you know think- what I mean? Um. Yeah, he said when I had won the four seven eight awards, mm-hmm. but I t- I take a lot of naps, so I went to sleep. <laughs> see, I take a lot of naps. I went to sleep, <laughs> but when I woke up, I had made a status, and I forgot what my status was. But he thought I was talking about him, but I never seen nothing. Yeah. And then somebody had came and told me they were like, "Yeah, he made a whole status about you and everything." But I still don't know what that status said But it wasn't good He took it out And From that point I was just like Nah he different Like I don't really yeah. like him like that Like Nah mm-hmm. man I'ma tell you man Ben Flick is a good guy man He 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 told me he was like Bro I don't know Should I say it? I say bro It's entertainment if you, you do comedy I don't think he gonna take it that serious So whatever he did It's all internet shit Nah I don't like him <laughs> He said I don't like him I don't like him <laughs> he fuck, Hey look he fuck with you though He fuck with you though he, That's so, cool he, he told me that Cause we did we, we did a little we did a little cat wig and skit man I thought it was I thought it was funny he came up with the idea and I just came there just to uh, help him you know execute it yeah see if it, was, if it was just like the clip when he said I never have a haircut and all that that would have yeah. been funny like okay yeah. cool but it's the status that I still be thinking about cause I I ain't never I ain't never uh wrote something about somebody that won something or like supposed to be congratulating them and yeah. said some. Crazy. Now like, it, it was this too now. So when I had did the We Outside Street Sign Awards, right? And he had shared the post and he was like, Y'all go tag his name. Mm-hmm. And then you made a status like, I don't gotta yeah. do all that. I'll be cheating. They be cheating. If, if, mm-hmm. I, if I do that. And then he felt some type of way like, Who you think he is? Like, you think he better than me? Cause he don't, you know what I'm saying? So what, what what was the situation with that? Why you didn't want to share the post to get your people to run it up in the comments? I don't like doing that. You don't like doing that? Why not? I don't feel like it's natural. Like, but it's okay to do it. Like, if that's what you're gonna do. But I don't. Um, like with any award and stuff, I want. I be wanting to know if the people just gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, if the like, people just gonna do it. I don't want to tell nobody to go. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I, I respect that. I respect that. Cause me personally, I posted that. I was really, I was really trolling. I ain't think people gonna really do that. Cause I ain't tag <laughs> nobody now. I just made a project, made the little thing. I put it up. I might get 10 likes Nah that shit went crazy So yep. I was just surprised My damn self that That people actually Respected the awards man So yep. You know what I'm saying Next year we gonna take it serious <laughs> We yep. gonna got down I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the street signs And all that made But Getting into that man Um, Why you never got a haircut Um I don't never go nowhere <laughs> like, I'm never I'm never going Like I'm in my car Or making a video Or something But I don't I'm never going that I don't go nowhere And then I would've got one today Cause I only right. get haircuts When I'm doing if something important 
Come on. So, all right. but I didn't get one today because they literally sent the email saying <laughs> for the movie, yeah, can't get a haircut. And I like, dang, that crazy. And then he just said <laughs> that, and now I gotta be on here like this. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man, it, you, it wouldn't be right if you would have came on here with a haircut. I would have felt some type of way, brother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got, you got to come like you is. Like you know how church say. Come, come as you yep, yep. <laughs> You know what I'm saying So I thought I thought that was funny man uh, <clears throat> But shout out to everybody Doing that that comedy stuff man it, 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 just, it just comedy At the end of the day brother Since you do comedy Give me your top five comedians brother Um Cat William made it hard Come on Um But it was <laughs> well, it, it still is I, I'm <laughs> waiting He gotta He gotta do something That deterred me Kevin Hart in o- this in order? Nah. All right, all right. Kevin Hart, Eddie, Eddie Griffin. Okay, Eddie Griffin. Okay. Uh, I ain't gonna call. Uh, yeah, it cold out here, y'all. Let me see. Eddie Griffin, Kevin Hart. Who else do I watch? Or who else have I watched? I'm trying to think that just had me dying laughing. <laughs> I can throw some names out there. Mike Epps. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I like him, but on like stand up wise, I probably only like Eddie Griffin and. Kevin Hart, probably some older people or something. But no, uh D Ray funny. D Ray D Ray funny. D Ray Davis is hilarious. Shout out to D Ray. Um mm-hmm, I can't think of that many when it comes to stand up. But movies? I have to say Marlon Wayne's. Okay. Marlon Wayne's, Kevin Hart, uh, Cat Williams, because he's hilarious. He's funny on stage too. I put it in stand up too. And um Who was funny on? It's a lot on. But look though, if you got to pick, like, if we put Kevin above Cat Williams on the stage, no. Nah. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Kevin ain't need. Uh, I I would put Eddie Griffin first. You got Bernie Mac. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, you got Sid. Since they want to talk about Sid, I, I I like. I, I'm gonna tell you who my top five is, bro. And then you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna just put this out there. So of course I'm gonna put Cat Williams on that list. <clears throat> I'm gonna put Mike Ellis on my list. And this shit, this shit really. By in order, not really, you know what I'm saying? By in order. Um, Cat Williams, um, Bernie Mac. I haven't seen t- too many specials from Bernie. But what I have seen, just on the flow. Yeah. Mike Epps, it ain't nobody naturally funny than Mike Epps. Because I off that, that stage, that nigga just funny as hell. He just still funny. You know I what I'm saying? And I put, I put Carlos, Miller's in, Carlos Miller in there. Like, with me saying Carlos, bro. I don't care if he ain't never done a king of comedy <laughs> on the staff. I don't care what he ain't done or what accolades he don't got. Nobody ain't really better than Carlos Miller. Then I'm putting Jamie Foxx on there. Cause that boy can sing and be funny at the same time. Nah, he tough. That's 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 that's, that's a talent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was on the stage with the piano singing, but it was funny. Like it it's just some people you can't beat. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You yeah. know what I mean? Um but getting into it though, do you feel like let me ask you this though: Have you ever put on a dress to do a skit? No, but I have put on a wig. Like back in the days mm-hmm. when uh, playing different characters, I right. used to play my own girl character and the dude and stuff. Right. What made you do that? Uh, that's what was that what was going like that what Delano was doing. He had a girl character. That's what I saw. So yep. that's that's what I looked up to. So I started doing that. Made me a girl character. Everybody on there who was making skits at the time, they had a girl character. Girl ca- yeah. They was doing a girl character. And we we was I was talking about that the other day because. On the on the internet, and most people will, if you pay attention, is the guy would dress up like the girl, and now you got the girl dressing up like the boys. Yeah, and that's their whole stick. Yep. You know, so I I see plenty of girls that acting like boys on the internet. They viral every time. Yep. They, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. And then opposite of that, the males dressing up like a girl. It's it's viral. Yep. It's, it's what people gonna watch. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. And I Cat Williams, when you talk about Hollywood. It look different in Hollywood. These people not in Hollywood. They just on Instagram. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So we can't use that same stigma when it comes to the people just on the internet. Yeah. Cause we ain't in no damn Hollywood room. You, you ain't selling yourself. <laughs> like ain't nobody paying you for it. Like yeah, ain't nobody paying you for that. So I can't really agree with them too much, but like I get it in the industry standard. Cat Kevin Kevin should have never dressed up as that girl on Saturday Night Live. I, I never Thought of that until that <laughs> interview. Like, I was like, dang. Like, yeah, that means. Everybody. Like, because if you already made it, Kevin Hart was already Kevin Hart when he was on Saturday Night Live. And he done said previously that he wouldn't even do that like that. That means that mean you got a price. Come on. That's scary. 
Come on. Now, are, are you scared of these Holly room, Hollywood rooms? Like, you get into acting, you get into situations. Are you scared of, of, of somebody saying, uh, I want you, and then you can be in my movie? Are you scared of that? No. Uh, I mean, it probably happened. Like, they probably mm-hmm. tried to do it or whatever. But... And yeah, you you gonna stand on your you gonna stand on business. Yeah, you, we you know and you know some people some people do it. You, you put a price on it, man. They they going for whatever. Yeah, you already you already be rich. Like yeah, they be greedy. Cause get what I'm gonna tell you like this. We don't even need Hollywood no more. You don't. We got Tubi. That's true. <laughs> I could, That's I true. Could the, I could put this whole interview on Tubi tomorrow. That's you true. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta submit it. So it's just like. It's certain stuff that we don't even need no more as far as like that 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 standard like oh, I gotta get in with a Hollywood execs. That's not even a thing no more. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? So nobody should be in that. If you in that situation out there in the world, you just choosing to do that. You bro. wanna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just choosing to do it. Do you feel like you know, people that get on stage, right? Do you feel like it's okay for co- comics to take a variation of a joke and redo it in their own way? You think that's no, that's stealing. I mean, but you gotta think about rap. People take rap lyrics all the time. They sample beats all the time. You right? seen Boosie? They seen. Come on, <laughs> you, we sa- they give, sample. Give my money. So, is they wrong for revamping a joke just because? Yeah, uh, and comedy. Mm-hmm. I mean, with music, yeah, okay, but I don't comedy though mm-hmm. that that takes away your credit like because you kind of think thought of that yourself that ain't your joke so that take away the credit from it like oh well put like do you think it's a coincidence that said and cat had the same joke now that was crazy but um or do you think that you just flat out stole that shit i ne- i don't think i watched like the whole video of like when they were comparing the two right but i did see like it was, i think it was kind of different though but mm-hmm. I did see the end and what he was like. He switched it. I'ma tell you, he's cat was cat was in the car and uh said was in the spaceship. But it was the same thing? It was the same joke. Oh well, yeah, he stole it. <laughs> <laughs> he stole that. And then Cat did his joke in ninety eight, said did the Kings of Comedy tour in two thousand. Yeah. So it's it's very evident that he may have got it from him and Cat said he was actually at that show that Cat did, but hey, I, who knows, who knows. Burning now, they got a clip of Burning Matt saying um, don't don't get up there telling your jokes in front of a room of comedians because they going to steal it. <laughs> going to steal it. So, yeah. <laughs> now, Bernie Mac that took somebody's joke, too, but we ain't, yeah. ain't, ain't going to speak on it. We ain't going to speak on it. I just saw that, and that made me mad, too. Shout, like, out to Bernie, <laughs> shout out to Bernie, man. Shout out to Bernie. God, the school bus joke. Dang, <laughs> the man. The school bus joke. He took it from a young cat. A <laughs> Yeah, come on, man. It's a dirty game, brother. Like, it's just how it is. Even, that's why I say music. You know, people steal people's songs all day, bro. Steal that's their true. beats. All steal type beats. Of stuff. Oh, boy. Yeah. It don't matter what took. it is. Yeah. All right, so, get it. Are you going to ever hit the stage, man? Yeah. I think I'm going to do everything. Mm. Um, when we hit the stage, bro? Because they, they say the, the comedian skit niggas can't hit the stage. How you feel about that? He, when we going to hit the stage? I mean, there's a hit the stage. DC hit the stage. Right. It looked like most of them gonna hit the stage. They be okay. hitting it. They do a good job. But um, I probably do it this year. This well, year, I'm, I'm gonna try to while I'm in Atlanta. Okay. Now we gonna do an underground. We gonna do the Ti thing. We gonna hit some underground clubs. So nobody wanna see what I'm doing. Or we, we gonna post it? Like what we gonna do? Yeah, I never post it until I know like I'm mm-hmm. that. But first, yeah, get all that practice. Get some practice in and learn how to be on stage. Control the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, it it crazy. Cause I watched I watched Desi. But he never showed I ain't never seen a full set though. Me he just give me a snippet. Me I don't neither. even know if this shit funny. Me neither. <laughs> you I know ne- what I'm saying? I like, never seen it. But I seen um he came to making and I saw somebody snap. Yeah. And he had the crowd dying laughing, so I was like, he probably is funny. I don't, I don't know. know. Like it crazy. Like I be wanna know. Like I remember when he first started, he did his skits on stage. And then I think he showed a clip where they went laughing at it. <laughs> and then he turned up like, "Bitch, I ain't got laugh about shit." I like, remember that. But it was it was, it was he, he turned it into a skit. Like, yeah. He turned he turned that into a skit. I thought that was funny, but it be like that. So it, it hard for the transition. DC did a good transition. He did a great transition. Like, I didn't know he was gonna be that funny on stage. He did great. Me. Um, I'm waiting on Drewski. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Drewski could do it. I think Drewski like he more of a host. Type yeah. person right now, so like I can see him being a host mo. Yeah, but yeah. But w- with you being in Atlanta, man, 
what type what type of shoulders have you touched with the industry as far as maybe comedians maybe a rapper here and there like who have you touched uh shoulders well you just you just stay in your lane i always stay to myself mm-hmm. um i don't know i think i don't ran across a lot of people they reach out to you like anybody reached out like hey yeah. man i want you to yeah, you know i get that a lot uh i ain't there's a lot of people there's a lot too much to keep up with yeah but <laughs> anybody I, that surprised you like damn i ain't, I ain't know you watch my shit. uh d-ray davis surprised me um you being a little biased you put him on your comedy list and i, I don't really like that because <laughs> you know what i'm saying I, give him a little bias, you know? <laughs> he, he surprised me and um and Craig, when you asked me about the stand up though, <laughs> I had forgot about like him doing stand up. Then he clicked, like, yeah. oh yeah, I, I watched the whole special from him and it yeah, was hilarious. He, he's mostly do the hosting thing, like to bring people on the stage. Mm-hmm. But he's funny as hell though. Yeah, he's None hilarious. But he surprised me and uh Delano Edwards surprised me. Trader True surprised me. Mm. Um that was probably Now Delano, the guy that inspired you, Delano? Mm-hmm. That guy, that, that, that guy, lit. hey, he used to be on, he used to be on YouTube going crazy, like man, that man, man was going crazy. That man used to be everywhere. That's how I know what you talking about. He used to go crazy everywhere. Yeah, when he when he inboxed me, well, when he DM me, that was like, that was ticket. I was like, oh yeah, I don't even care about nothing else. I don't care what <laughs> nobody else say. If he say I got it, I know I got it. Yeah, yeah, you you, you got it, bro. You got it, man. Um, you really do, brother. Uh, I, I like what you're doing. Throw the positive in the windows in there too, and that's major. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course you got the comedy going. I want to see big things for you, man. I want to see you in these movies, man. I'm showing movies and stuff. So hopefully, if I can get you in one of these movies, man, that'd be great. You know what I'm saying? I, I like comedy, so we most definitely gonna do a comedy movie. Uh, I'm working on it this year. Maybe start shooting later on this year, or maybe the top of the next year. But I, yeah, you got yeah. big stuff coming ahead. Just you know let me saying? know, man. I definitely. <laughs> I yeah. definitely it cold out here. I ain't gonna have you out here for too much longer. This is we outside. We we really outside, y'all. Really outside. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let let closing it out, man. Um is it anything that I missed? Anything I was supposed to ask that I didn't ask? Talk to me. Nope. You asked Um everything that was expected. Yeah. 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 I I might leave a couple things on the table for future references, you know what I'm saying? But we, we had to get that good introduction. For my good guy Aaron, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, appreciate the, the, it, man. the next, the next one gonna be the best one. You know yep, what I'm saying. Yep. This is your commercial, man. For the people who don't know, for the people who do know, sell yourself to the people, man. Go. Um, Aaron Freeman, it's cold out here, and <laughs> just follow me everywhere at Aaron underscore Freeman on all social medias, and I have big things coming this year. Uh, probably stand up, movies, commercials music for sure um yeah follow me everywhere